Welcome back to our conversation with Congressman Jim McGovern. And Congressman, uh, I know that uh, hunger is a big issue of yours and has been for many years. Last fall, Congress passed an extension of the Farm Bill through next September, I believe it is, that preserves funding for the uh, SNAP program that helps feed poor people and for parts of the Inflation Reduction Act relative to food production and so forth. Can that extension survive election year politics? I hope so, because we're talking about a program that feeds people who otherwise would go hungry. Uh, I mean, you know, one of the primary responsibilities of government is to make sure that uh, the most vulnerable in our community um, are taken care of. Uh, you know, food should be viewed as a fundamental human right for every single person, not only in this country, but on this planet. Uh, and we live in the richest country in the history of the world, and uh, tens of millions of our fellow citizens don't know where the next meal is going to come from. I, I think that that's abhorrent. That's, that's, that's something we shouldn't tolerate. And ending hunger is something we can do. Uh, and I would like to think that we could gather the political will, hopefully on both sides of the aisle, to make sure that uh, we deal with it. Well, once upon a time, uh, skepticism of government programs for the poor... Uh, was a staple of the hard right. Uh, Ronald Reagan talked about welfare queens, that kind of thing. Uh, is, is it still, or it, and is it different or the same from Reagan's day? Well, I mean, I, I think th there are no, there's no doubt that there were attacks on, on these programs. But I remind people, and let me talk about the SNAP program in particular, the majority of people who are on SNAP right now are working full time. These are people who are working. Uh, I think they would prefer to work at a job that pays better so they wouldn't have to rely on uh, uh, government assistance, but they need it. Um, and uh, I just want to also say that I'm proud of Massachusetts and I'm proud of this governor and the state legislature uh, for moving forward and, and guaranteeing that every child that goes to school uh, in Massachusetts gets a free breakfast and meal. I think that is a major step toward ending hunger uh, in our commonwealth. I wish every state would follow our, our lead. That program, however, relies partly on federal aid, doesn't it? Well, it raises some on, on, on federal aid, yeah. and, and, we, and I expect that that will continue. Okay. Um, uh, but, it, uh, but, but, but it is an important uh, uh, mark of progress in this commonwealth okay. that, that the governor and the legislature moved in that direction. So you mentioned the presidential race. We've got the New Hampshire primary right around the corner. We have a lot of viewers in New Hampshire. Um, why don't you take a moment and speak to uh, Republicans and independents who plan to vote in that primary? What would you like them to be thinking about? Uh, do you see, who do you, I know you want the de uh, Joe Biden reelected, but who do you think is acceptable in that field? Well, look, I, I'm not here to, if I were to mention a Republican candidate that I thought was acceptable, that'll tank, that'll them. tank them, right? right. <laughs> I, I will say this, that I, I hope that Republicans, independents, and Democrats all approach this election understanding what's at stake. I mean, our democracy at stake. Uh, Donald Trump is a wannabe dictator. He's made no secret about it. Um, he's, a, he's a demagogue. He's somebody who has promoted division and polarization in this country. Uh, and, I, you know, I've, I was a history major in college. I, you've, see, you've seen examples of, of democracies uh, be established and then disappear, right? Uh, and when people say it can't happen here, it can happen here. And it can happen if Donald Trump um, is elected president. Uh, he, he, should, he, he is not fit uh, to be in the Oval Office, and I hope that people can come together and agree on that. This is, this is not your typical presidential election. And, I, and I, again, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, not only hoping that Biden will win, I'm confident he will win. There's only one person running who's ever beat Donald Trump in a national election, and that's Joe Biden. And I expect he'll beat him again. Our time's up, but high confidence, moderate confidence, low confidence. You know, I, I go to church every Sunday and I pray. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to work as hard as I can to help reelect this president and, and Vice President Harris. And... Uh, I hope everybody who's watching will do the same. This is, we have to come together to preserve uh, what is unique and special about this country. Congressman, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again.